Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and uh, today I'm working on a Kawasaki Baja 2006 uh, ATV. And the uh, problem with this thing is that the, uh, the flywheel, the keyway, keeps breaking. Okay, um, And you can see that this is a little bit scored up there where the woodruff key goes in. So um, I'm going to show you how you can fix this thing and get it to stay on there pretty permanent. So before you do anything, you want to take a look at your flywheel or on ATVs, they actually call this thing the generator and there's a keyway going through it. You want to make sure that that, that keyway is not destroyed. Um, it shouldn't be because the key is sacrificial. So my keyway on this thing looks pretty good. There's a slight bit of wear, but uh, we're going to get a key in there and correct this. Okay guys, we're taking a look at the uh, crankshaft here. And um, I've already put some grinding compound on here. And I'm putting it right on the area where the flywheel mates. Okay, it's like a tapered shaft there. And you just want to be careful that you don't get this stuff in your engine. You want to make sure you get all this grinding compound out when you're done. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that uh, flywheel on there. And we're going to grind this thing in to seat it properly. The last guy that owned this thing, he had told me that he uh, he went through and just put a new uh, Woodruff key in, and uh, you know I thought there was a, actually a problem with the timing chain because the timing was off, wasn't starting, it had spark, but it was sparking at the wrong time. Um, so I set the timing chain, not knowing that the uh, Woodruff key here was sheared. So uh, I want to make sure that this thing gets set. And that's, you know, when you buy this stuff from people that work on it that, uh, you know, aren't used to working on equipment, uh, sometimes you got to go back and correct what they've done. You know, you can't just assume, oh, it has a good woodruff key. That's what I did. I set the timing and we're back here to square one. And I looked at this and it's pretty uh, chewed up. And we're going we're gonna to try and hone this thing in and see if we can't get it to seat nicely. Okay, so I'm taking our flywheel and we want to slip it all the way on here and we just want to continue to turn it until we can seat it nicely. That wasn't even on there, right? Here we go. I learned about this actually in a forum and uh, I used this method once on a Briggs and Stratton. Uh, tractor that kept shearing the woodruff key. So I did read that you're you're supposed to turn it only one direction. So we're going to go through and I'm going to turn this thing for about a minute. All right, I turned the thing for about a minute. Now we're going to pop this off of there. And you can see that's already seating pretty nice, even without a uh, keyway. And we'll clean this up. You gotta be real sure to get all this grit out of here. And we'll take a look at what we have close up here. So here's a look at the crankshaft, and you can see you have this nice darker area. All right, that's everything that was lapped there. So that's a nice, you know, kind of a textured area that can mate with the flywheel. Now we'll look at the flywheel. Here's a look at the flywheel. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has that same nice lapped textured uh, surface on it. So that's really looking good. All right, so the last part of this video, I'm just going to give you some tips and hints on how to get your flywheel to stop breaking that woodruff key. So uh, the first thing, you lap it, and the next thing you do is you make sure that you clean it thoroughly, getting all that compound out of there. You don't want any of that in there. I didn't clean mine up all the way yet. Then the next thing that you want to do is you want to get your flywheel on there. Okay, so in this case, we'll slip it on, make sure it seats. It should seat a lot better without any wiggle, all right? There's not much wiggle at all there. Um, I know there was more earlier. 
And then once you have that thing on there, or actually before you put it on there, another tip is to get all the oil off that shaft. All right, a nice good dry mating surface is going to help that thing lock on. Um, another thing that you want to do is once you get this thing seated, you could take yourself like a three quarter inch socket or a pipe and once you have that woodruff key in everything's lined up and it's slid into place, go ahead and give it a good tap and seat it, you know, using a impact socket or something. And then the final thing that you want to do is when you tighten that nut, you want to tighten it down to the specified torque. So you really need a torque wrench and you, and you want to crank that thing because if it's not cranked, it's just going to go ahead and shear again. So that's some tips and tricks for you on uh, how to set a flywheel uh, on a, a crankshaft. So hopefully you learned a few things here. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate the comments. I've been busy uh, family stuff and YouTube. Everyone's asking how my son's doing. He's doing very well, but he's still in you know active treatment, so it's a lot. Anyhow, thanks for uh, subscribing and watching. And uh, in the bottom, I'm going to put a link to where you can get yourself some good compound for doing this job. So check out the link. Take care. See ya.